G'day YouTubers, I missed an opportunity on Sunday to get out on the water. The forecast wasn't good so I decided I'd do some work on my boat and by the time I realised it was going to be a good day, my boat wasn't seaworthy to go out. So I thought I'd do this video instead. Something I've been wondering about for a while and that is how strong knots are. I bought one of these tools that have been advertised on Facebook for a while now to tie knots just to see what it was like and I decided I'd do some testing to see how strong the knots were. And that led me to test some of the knots I've always used, like one that an old fisherman taught me many, many years ago, one that is in common use, a uni knot, a snell knot, a surgeon's loop, and a crimp, just to see if one is better than the other and get an idea for their failure modes. Nothing scientific about it, all gut feel and root strength, but interesting results nevertheless. And let's have a look at them. Right, here's our scientific setup. I've worked the tag end on the hooks so that I can attach, or well, most of them anyway, where I could, so that I could attach a pair of vice grips to it. That's going to help me find the knot if it breaks and sort of flies off anywhere. It should just drop down where I can see it. Now, this first one here we're going to test was done with the knotting tool that I bought. And I put a hook on each of them. So I'm just going to clamp that in this old blacksmith vice, over 100 years old this vice, and use some brute force to test how strong it is. Plenty of wraps around there so that I don't slip. Wrap it back on top of itself, which is something you never do if you're going to use the line for a fish. Ooh, okay, we didn't budge a table and we did break inside the knot. Let me just find that other end. There's dust on the floor there. Right. Yeah, we see this now. Are we focused on it? That's the question. There. I hope we can see that now. So that's a knot there. You can see it's a bit of a pigtail-y thing there. And this is the main line. We've also got a bit of a pigtail there. I'll bring it down here where you can get it against the darker background. So you can see we've got a pigtail on both these. So that's broken inside the knot. Now I've got a theory about why that happens. No proof, but I've got a theory, which I'll talk about later after we try some of these others. Let's try the uni knot next. Clamping that nice and tight so that hook doesn't fly out and get me. That's the last thing I need at the moment. Okay, we'll lift the table with the uni knot. Mm. Ooh, and before I put any more strain on it, I'm gonna reseat that hook because I think that was starting to move. Coming out of there with a fair bit of force if it does. Lifted the table off the floor. Oh, there she goes. That took a lot of force. A lot more than the one done with the tool. Same deal though. I'll bring him over to the in front of the camera so we can get a good look at it. That's the tag end there, what a pigtail left on it. And this is the main line here, also with some pigtail left on it. Again indicating that the break was inside the knot. And so far, the theory I'm developing is holding good, because that was what I expected. Here's a knot that was taught to me by an old fisherman when I was just a lad, and I've used it pretty much exclusively all my life. Until recently, I've started to use some other knots, but 
This was my go-to knot for fishing for many, many years. Now, it's always been a good knot for me, but I think it is going to exhibit the same failure mode as these other two. Now, let's just have a look. I don't know what this knot's called, by the way. Okay, lifted the table. There it goes. And yes, exactly the same failure made there. The uh, this one here that I'm moving is the tag end, and this one here is the main line. And as you can see, they've both got some pigtail on them. Again, indicating that the knot broke inside the knot, or the line broke inside the knot. Probably a better way to say it. Next, let's have a look at the Schnell knot, which has become quite popular with me. I never really trusted it for some reason at first. Since I've been using it, it has become a very popular knot for me. So, Let's try it and see how it performs. I think that its weakness will be coming through the eye of the hook. Oh, yes, and it broke well before it lifted the table off the ground. And see this here it did break just as it went through the eye of the hook it'll be very hard to see that on the camera I think so I'll have to try and explain to what's happened that has broken just as it comes up through the eye of the hook there very little pigtail on it because it was just poked through the eye and it's broken. I'd say in the change of direction as it comes through the eye. I'm not sure whether that's got something to do with a little bit of roughness on the hook itself or what, but every single snell knot I've broken has broken there. Oh, I will just mention that these are cheap hooks too. I'm not using my good hooks for this job. The next one to try is a surgeon's leaf. Now, with the snell, I didn't have the uh, vice grips on it because I knew it wasn't going to go anywhere. Same with the surgeon's leaf. I'm pretty convinced that wherever it breaks, I'm going to end up with both pieces. So. Wind him up and give him a go. And that's a double surgeon's leap, by the way, just to be precise. I'm lifting the table up. And there it goes. Again, consistent with every other surgeon's loop I tested, this has broken on the knot. So, well, just above the, just above the knot actually, because you can just see there's about two millimetres of line sticking out above the knot. I'm not sure if I can get you an angle on that to see it or not. But anyway, there's two millimetres of line and the line did break just outside the knot. And last but not least is something I've only just started to use. And I'm pretty enthusiastic about it really. And that is crimping monofilament line. Never done it in the past, I've always used knots. But I've been quite impressed with this crimping business. Right, look at 
this from. Okay, lift the table. And there it goes, she broke. See this. And that break just where it goes into the crimp. So yeah, the crimping does weaken it a bit because that's been fairly consistent. I've had a couple that break away from the crimp, but most of them have broken down on the crimp. But the crimping is at least as strong as the uni knot or the surgeon's loop or the one that I've been using for all these years. I don't think there's anything much to pick between them as far as strength goes and that's only subjective of course. But there are some problems with the knot done by the tool. The snell knot's not as strong as I thought it would be, but I think that could be that there's some burrs and stuff on these cheaper hooks. They're not as smooth as they could be. So yeah, basically, if you want to use a crimp, or you want to use a uni knot, you want to use a knot like I've used, it could be a modified cinch knot. I'm not sure of the name of it. Steer clear of the tool they're trying to sell to do your knots. Surgeon's knot's okay. And Snell knots okay if you're using really good hooks with no burrs and a soldered or welded together loop. So there's no sharp edges on that either. So yeah, much of a muchness as I found, except for the one of the tools, one that I'd never use again. And certainly go for the Snell if you're going to gang up some hooks. And other than that, any one seems to be almost as good as the other. Provided they're all tied right. If you're not tying your knots as good as you could, then the crimp should outperform them all because that will be consistent. Okay, this is a drop of swivel that I just thought I'd try. It crimps on so you can do a pattern oster rig without having to tie three knots. This just crimps on to the main line and all you need to do is tie your hook onto that one. And I thought, oh, crimping onto the main line, I wonder if it weakens it. This is an 80 pound line. So I took it over and fastened it down and wrapped it around a stick and tugged on it for all I was worth. And I did manage to break it down there, well away from where it's crimped on. So that has done nothing to degrade the strength of the main line. Certainly stronger than putting a knot in the main line. So I think I'll be using these in future. Well, that's it for the experiments, and my theory on the knot breakages is that the knots cinch down tighter as more and more pressure is applied to them, and the cinching down compresses against the line itself and weakens it, and then it breaks inside the knot where the cinching is putting the most pressure on it. Now, of course, I don't have the tools to prove that, but that's my theory, and I think it makes sense. Now the weather forecast is not looking too good for the next 10 days. Work is such at the moment that I can't get out to fish on the Wednesday, Thursday when it might be sort of okay. So I plan to do a few general knowledge videos in the meantime, something about the bay perhaps, and hope that the weather forecast improves in the really near future so that I can get out and have a fish. So anyway, until the next video goes up, hope you guys get some fishing in, even if I can't. If you'd like to see more of my videos, you can go to the YouTube channel. Until next time, good fishing.